Hey guys, so here's the 75 gallon salt water tank. Um, live rock and cleanup crew. Um, we just got the cleanup crew today and live rock uh, a couple days ago. Um, live rock is not what I expected. As you can see, it all looks pretty dull. Except for this piece. And this one. This one has actually, I think, a sea fan on it. Oh, this one has some algae on it. But um, anyway, so 85 pounds of live rock. Um, glad I did it because one, it's going to help with the filtration, and two, it doesn't even look like it's that much for 75. We've just not done anything for caves or anything. Um, a couple caves, you got this area here. In here, there's actually a cave. There's a bigger entrance to the back. I'll show you that. And there's this kind of pathway in here. There. Um, cleanup cooler wise, um, 22 turbo snails, uh, two emerald crabs, 30 Nazareth snails, 15, 16 um, hermit crabs. They are small. That is all the hermit crabs. That's probably the biggest one I think in the tank. Um, they're very tiny. Um, come around back. Sorry about all the cables. Um, forget what type of sea star. Doesn't look too good because he lost a couple legs when it was shipped. Um, sea star. There's two peppermint shrimp in here. One of them is under that rock. You can't really see him. And I don't know where the other one went. I guess... When we last saw him, he was somewhere in that area. Um, I think that does it for cleanup crew. Here are the two emeralds. Um, I'm going to, as I told you guys before, I'm going to be putting my emerald crab in here. Um, so, there will be three emeralds in here, and my guy's going to run the tank, because, as you all know, he is huge. Um, 30 Nazareth. I think that it does it for cleanup crew. Um... So, yeah, the tank's going good. Um, I'm going to be starting the quarantine tank next week. It's not this tank. It's going to be a 20-gallon tank. Um, for you, those of you guys who just do floating acclimation, I don't recommend it. Cleanup crews is okay to do it, for, but for the starfish and the peppermint shrimp, we drip acclimated in here. All you really have to do, you can just tie a knot in a hose, and just depending on how tight you tie it, whatever. Um, just make a siphon, it'll work fine. Um, so yeah, this is the 75 gallon salt water tank from the back. With all the cables everywhere. Um, for lighting, the two T5s. There's the night light. So it's, it's really a. It shows up blue on here, but really it's like a. It's a purple. Um, it looks really cool, especially when the lights are off. So, yeah. All right, guys. See ya. Bye.